Welcome to the live demo of our approach. Scene geometry is acquired with an RGBD sensor and stored using the voxel hashing framework of Niesner and colleagues. We simultaneously perform live intrinsic decomposition of the scene using the method of Mika and colleagues. This produces a reflectance image and a shading image. The shading image suffers from the well-known texture copy problem, as you can see in the painting. The user can resolve this problem with a constant shading stroke. The 3D precision of strokes is stored in the acquired geometry and can be used for various applications. Here, we recolor the statue's clothes realistically. User interaction is detected using a depth-based foreground segmentation along with skin tone detection. Here we demonstrate a constant reflectance stroke which is propagated over the entire shirt. The propagated stroke region is marked in red. With another touch, the user recolors the shirt. Observe the photorealistic output. Here are some more results. The brightness variation of the color blocks in the shading image is inaccurate. We improve it with constant shading strokes. Observe that the brightness of the reflectance image also improves. Here, we perform constant reflectance strokes to improve the decomposition of the shirt. Notice the stroke propagation with a single touch. Previous fusion methods suffer from shading information in the acquired mesh structure. We store the material reflectance values, hence making them suitable for use in other applications such as relighting. We demonstrate relighting of the static reflectance fused mesh by combining it with a synthetic shading image based on a geometry. Observe the interaction of the point light source with the geometry as it moves around. The reflectance fused mesh is used to initialize and constrain the intrinsic decomposition. We evaluate the temporal coherence of the estimated reflectance with and without this constraint. Our novel energy term achieves a higher temporal coherence as is indicated by the lower error values for 5 pixel patches of the scene. Observe the reduced flickering and improved spatial coherence of our reflectance image. As for limitations, constant shading strokes do not work well with curved objects or specular highlights, such as on the ball, since ground truth shading is not constant. This can be an avenue for future work. We demonstrate several applications. In this sequence, the user picks up the green color from the first chair and copies it to the blue chair in an intensity preserving way. Notice the photorealistic recoloring of the output. Here, we demonstrate live relighting of a scene. The scene is relit with a moving point light source. We can also modify material properties by modifying the shading layer. With a single touch, we can convert the bust from plaster to metal. The stroke is propagated on the bust automatically. All of these 
and many more augmented reality applications are enabled by our technique. Thank you.